Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. A lot of you want to know about ceiling fans. Um, today's world in January 2018, um, we're looking at a lot of different styles, but um, in my opinion of 20 years of hanging, I don't know how many fans, a lot. Um, I would say that the worst thing you can get are cheap ones, your doorbuster special, especially all the ones that are incandescent candle tier bulbs. I personally do not feel that those fixtures last a long time. Um, I also think that the more you spend, the better you get. Uh, sometimes people think that the longer the blade and more blades is better. I don't think so. This is simply a 48 inch haiku, spelled like this, H-A-I-K-U, it's Japanese. Um, they're from the company, here's the logo. I'm not trying to be vulgar, but it's BigAssFans.com. That's a donkey on there. These guys have been around for a long time. Um, I do suggest this is a very good fan. It is a three-bladed. It has a very, very powerful LED light that is dimmable. This thing is super bright. I've hung probably five of these now. They come with extra long rods if you buy them, and I do suggest you do. They're fairly simple to install. If you guys don't feel adequate doing it, I wouldn't do this. This is definitely harder than your typical big box store. This thing's CFM is super fast. I don't know how many, but it is a really fast fan, even though the motor is small. It's going to have six screws all around the side that you screw under the bottom as you click in the fan. You simply put on the cap and twist it, and you simply put on your rod here and line up the yellow arrows on this side. You put on your ground screw right here. You snap in your harnesses here and here. These are fairly easy to do. This is what's communicating to the motor. And then right in here, you'll end up snapping these on as well. There is a rod that goes through a center point here. Actually, that's the wrong one. So you'll put that through here. When you're done, you'll go ahead and pull this all the way down and cover the cap. The cap simply has three screws, one, two, okay. When you do that, you'll then put your knob on the top, which is your knuckle, slip that on. Don't forget to put on your cap. This is an LED lit piece. It will communicate, it's an LED tape. Sorry about the dog hair here. And that will snap in at the top here when you get ready. But this will come down, this will come on. So you'll go first, second, third. Then at the top of it, you'll simply put that knuckle into here with the rod. I'll show you a second video when I'm done. Anyways, you also have a remote here, handheld, and then a wall switch as well that you can put in. And when I get all wrapped up, I'll show you how it looks. Thanks.